Hey everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Castanon, and we are back with 80s Week. This is my brother Steve joining me today, and he has a special video he wants me to watch. He wants me to check out Devo doing Smart Patrol, Mr. DNA. Uh, this is from Lollapalooza, I believe, uh, 1996, 97, nine, somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah, 96 or 97, and uh, let's get into this, um, and then we'll chat afterwards. All right. Here we go. This is Smart Patrol, Mr. DNA. It's Going a, to work now, Spuds. Let's do it's it. A deep send. send up. What a beautiful sound. And you know that that's so loud oh, in, in the arena there. Bone shaking. Listen to that. So, that snare. Man, that, that kit. I just, oh, look at all. He's got okay. different colored, he's got different colored drums. <laughs> awesome. They're totally stripped down because usually they have a lot of visuals in right. the show. Right. It's just straight rock and roll because they were playing on the rock and roll night here with uh, Metallica. Oh my god. <laughs> so this crowd does not know yeah. what's going yeah, on. They, they, they don't know what the hell's going on. But they're hitting them with the rock. I mean, yeah. this is a very, it's very solid rock sound. Now that's not the same drummer that they had. No, no, that guy plays for the Foo Fighters now. Oh. He is solid. Yeah. And they all take turns singing. Oh yeah. He's at attention yeah. <laughs> or at ease, I guess. <laughs> He's just standing there. <laughs> Wow. They're so pro. Like, unfazed that this is not their crowd. Oh, no, they, they're commanding the stage. They're, it, it's their audience now, you know. No mercy. Wow, big crowd. These guys are genius. We shot the balls in the hole. Shut it! There is no band on earth that sounds like this. These guys are no mercy, man. He plays it true to the record as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, just like the record. Just hammering those drums. I, for I forgot that uh, Jerry Casales was left left-handed. He's playing this uh, uh, Steinberger upside down. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Woo. He is pulling every sound out of that mode. <laughs> every sound. It's like he's shutting down a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Wait a minute, 
that, that he takes the lead on this. I love it. Hearing this live. I he's love like it. Checking on him. Pure noise. Yeah, he's checking on him. Oh, he falls over. Oh my god! You can get through it! Dangerous. It's a two chord song. Yeah, yeah. Check him out. He's pumping that thing. He's <laughs> pumping. He just keep going. Oh, oh my Dangerous. god, that's awesome. <laughs> oh man. I bet he was helicoptering in there. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Wow. Woo. Oh, then they go into Mongoloid. Oh my god. I don't think any band has rocked so hard and so high of shorts. <laughs> I mean, him pumping like a maniac in these shorts with such a gossamer fabric <laughs> oh my shows god. confidence. Oh my god, that was absolutely <laughs> amazing. These guys just killed it. Um, you know, you don't usually see them in a venue like this, you know, mm -hmm. in a big arena. I've seen them uh, at the Ventura Theater. I've seen them in smaller kind of mid-sized clubs that even smaller. But um, I've never seen them play in an arena like this. And, uh, you know, it's just I was just thinking about the fact that like, the space between the amps tells you how big the arena is. Right. So it's like, you know, uh, you know, look, I'm, I'm in, you know, typically the place them out on the stage, take up some more space. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, typically you're, you know, all the amps are smashed together. Right. The venue's too small. But um, yeah, that, um, that was, oh my God. He, they really show the audience what, what the revenge of the nerds uh <sighs> kind of uh musicians can do because uh that was that was yeah oh my god that was that was, that was awesome. pro all the way i mean these guys have been rocking for years they've done thousands i mean they've done thousands of performances thousands and thousands of performances so they're not timid in the least no and, and they're quite sure what they do and you know i love the fact that even though you know i think we all think of devo as being a synth based band but they're really not there's a lot of guitar in what they yeah. do and, and acoustic drums yeah 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 so bringing it to this venue um they fit right in because this is Lollapalooza. so what were some of the art artists yeah. that were um besides metallica yeah yeah let's see I think um it said uh, rage against the machine yeah rancid rage against the machine yeah metallica 
Um, <laughs> Somebody like let's slip Devo in there. I, I know uh, whose idea was it? <laughs> to, it worked to put Devo in there, but you know, so you can imagine all these metalers were probably going, "What the hell's going on like, with these this? are the guys that do whip it?" Yeah, yeah, these are the whip it guys. <laughs> Which I have to say, by the way, that Mark Mothersbaugh was the inspiration for me to get clear frames. This, this, oh yeah, yeah, this was when I had to get glasses. I'd always had dark frames. And at the time I said, you know what? I want the Mark Mother's ball. Just look. like him. And so ever since then, years ago, that's that's when I started there going go. with the clear um, uh, frames for my glasses because I, 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 I always thought he just looked like such a badass. I mean, yeah. you know, he's, he's like the hero of all geeks and me being a geek, you know. It, yeah. it, uh, These guys are pioneers. I mean, yeah, totally. Starting back in the 70s, even though this was from 1979 the album yeah this song yeah this song uh, came out in 1979 which you know we're gonna we're gonna fudge and, and give them a 1980s give uh, pass. you know pass on this because uh Devo is an 80s band pretty much even though they started in in the late 70s they couldn't help being ahead of their time yeah 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 so we'll just <laughs> say their fault yeah for this song smart patrol mr dna was was released in 1979 but we'll yeah. we'll call it 80s. yeah it's actually enough. he gave me this album uh duty now for the future That's right uh, for christmas yeah and, along with the b52s the first album first when it was B52s. fresh when people first heard rock lobster yeah and didn't know what it was yeah because i had gotten into it and i was playing in a new wave band uh back then called the blisters uh three mexican guys from oxnard uh california and uh we just went nuts with the stuff and we would play all of these covers and devo was one of the bands that we covered uh among others but uh yeah, yeah i was so excited about it that i had to get you into it and i was like you gotta check this yeah. out this, the new music what a great time i mean the music from early 80s Oh, just what a insane decade. and seeing Devo I remember seeing him for the first time I think it was after Saturday Night Live one time oh. and I thought I was having a fever dream <laughs> watching this it's like who are these guys with a guy with a mask boogie boy <laughs> boogie boy yeah like mind-blowing yeah, stuff totally They're so so far ahead and pioneering with all the synth stuff yeah and I love them I've always loved Devo, yeah, one of my favorites, and this is probably one of their finest performances. This has got to be one of the best raw, things I've seen of them, yeah, alive, uh, stripped down completely, man, and just rocking. Oh man, yeah. so they so it. much fun. Um, yeah, I wanted to mention to the viewers that uh, Steve's got a YouTube channel that he just started recently, and yes. it's called Sunburst Heights. Sunburst, one word, one word. Yes, the baby channel. It's only got a few videos, but. Um, We'll see what it morphs into. I know that Jeff, when he first started, he had some product videos, yeah. tutorials on how to hook up your uh, M your M yeah. audio Oxygen keyboard. Keyboard is all over the place because uh, I didn't know what I wanted to theater. do. Musical theater, yeah, yeah, everything. So that's what happens when you start with your YouTube channel early on is that you're not quite sure uh, what not the content is going to be. Yeah, so you kind of like do a few different things, but. Um, the stuff that I really like on your channel, it's the stuff relating to video editing and um, Photoshop stuff. And Steve uh, went to the Los Angeles uh, Film School. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he's got a lot of knowledge about that. And so he's sharing that on his channel. Uh, he's, he's got uh, one video so far about, uh, mm -hmm. about doing some video editing. And... Um, yeah, so we did, uh, we've done some projects together over the past. We, a couple of music videos, yeah. a short film. I'll have to get those posted at some yeah. point. And I even did a soundtrack for one of your films for class. Right, which, right. Which was um, mind-blowing for me because I love soundtrack work. I, I, I never get a chance to do any, and um, it was a student project, and I got asked to do, uh, to make some song or to write music uh, for this short film. And it was the first time I got to hear my music in a theater. Oh, right. And that was so badass because those speakers are the best speakers. Yeah, full theater. Yeah, yeah. Full theater. yeah. So that was so much fun sitting in there with an audience <laughs> watching this movie and hearing my music come up. Like, on the big screen. Yeah, yeah it's a trip. The screen. I was it's like, oh, over the moon. So that was a lot of fun. But, uh, you know. We haven't done that for we haven't done anything like that in a while. We'll have to conjure up something That's again right. and 
This is our first film project in years. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, man. Well, that was so awesome. What a great way to tag 80s week and to, you know, top it off. You know, you can't ask for more than Devo. And uh, that was a blast watching. Um, I, I'm going to go back and watch the whole concert. Check the whole thing out. I got awesome. it. I got to watch the whole concert. Um, so I hope you you all enjoy the 80s week with me. And uh, thank you, Steve, for coming thank out you. and doing this with me. And uh, yeah, come back for more cool stuff. And see you next time. Bye bye. Hey, I just wanted to let you all know that the Stratelli Studio Shop is up and running. This is the artwork for the various designs that I have on the products. Basically, it's studios A through F. These are the graphics that I showed at the beginning of each video, and you can get these graphics on a variety of products. As you see here on the website, you have 10 products that are customizable. You can actually change the location or the size of the graphic on the product. I hope you come check it out.